Hey everyone, it's been a long time. Um, wait. Las Vegas today. Uh, my tea is cold, so I'm not gonna keep on drinking it, but that's what I was drinking. Um, how to say this? I have been absent from vlogging for maybe two, three weeks now. I don't know, I can't remember. It's been a while. I, I did film though, and I filmed with my friends. Uh, Sophie Najed, then I filmed with Sophie, and then last weekend was Donna Danny's workshop, and I filmed a bit, and anyways, all this to say, I've been really sick. I think it was the flu. I'm getting much better. Uh, it's just that there's so much backlog that I don't know how fast I'll be able to edit, and... Uh yeah, so as I was saying, I have a lot of footage to edit. I don't know how quickly I'll be able to edit them. But they're on their way and you'll probably get all my vlogs totally out of sequence. I'll try to be as precise as I can, but just bear with me. I really do apologize, but I was so sick. It was taking all my energy and whatever I had left, I had to concentrate on my job, which is normal. So uh, I promise I'll get back on track, but for a little while things are going to get wonky. Uh, but I do have a lot of stuff to show you. I've been creating and as I said, I don't know if... Um, we were cut off, but uh, Donna Danny was at Scrapbook Central last weekend, so I have footage of that. I have footage of the projects that I did. I have tons and tons of stuff, but for now, I think what I'm going to show you is the bits and pieces that I filmed with uh, Sophie and Angel about 3D cards. Now, let me just explain this. Um, I'm by birth and by nature, whatever you want to call it, I am a type A person. I need to be, to have things just so. Uh, that's why I love to organize. I'm, I'm mostly a linear person, but recently, because I've been so interested in art journaling and mixed media, I've learned to push my limits and do something else. All this to say that um, I'm still a type A. I'll always be. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's how you are. You can't get away with that, but it doesn't mean that you can't dabble in something else, but you always, I feel like I always have to come back to into my type A personality and do stuff that nourishes that to appreciate the other stuff. So what you're going to see now is something that I do when I'm stressed out, uh, oddly enough when I have a lot of work to do, uh, and let's say if I'm waiting for uh, a video to upload, well, I'll reach for that type of work. So my type A things are organization, but it's also something that's called 3D decoupage uh, cards. And um, I love to cut by scissors. I like tiny details. The more detailed, the better. So this is what you're going to see. You're going to see me uh, do my first ever official piece of 3D decoupage, meaning something that's more involved than a few cuts, or something that's uh, more than just taking pre-cut pieces and then putting them onto um, a card with some silicone glue. So I'm in my studio here with Sophie Angel. Say hi! hi. <laughs> Angel is um, quite prolific at, at doing or at making or putting together 3D decoupage cards. And I wanted to put one together, but I wanted to show you what Angèle has been doing. Look at how gorgeous this card is. Look at the background. Absolutely beautiful. Here's another one. This is another one of the more, uh, the easiest pieces, I yeah. would say. Really gorgeous. So this is the glue that she uses. This is a silicone base glue. It's made by Hellmark. And um, the advantage of that one is that you can give your pieces the shade that you want and then you would add the silicone in between the layers right here that you see right here and it, when it dries it stays as is. So if you've got, um, for instance, this one here, if I press on this, this is not going anywhere. It's going to stay like that. Here's another rose that she made. And look at the shine of that card. It's so beautiful. I love the background on that. And she's added some black peel-offs right there. There's another style. Really gorgeous. This is another style. This is a pyramid style. So instead of having all the 
images uh, cut apart, I guess you can say that way. Um, they are, stacked. it's the full image. It, it, yeah, it's the full image, but they're stacked. Really gorgeous. So there's another one. My favorite, I think, of the kit is this one. I love this one. Look at the tiny details on this. So there's no cutting. All you need to do is um, cut the little tags. Cut the little tags <laughs> on each side. Pour les francophones, je viens d'apprendre un nouveau mot. Je vais vous l'envoyer comme ça. Ébavurer. <laughs> Quand on a des um, des formes découpées comme ça et qu'il y a des petits euh, des petites pinoches. <laughs> <Le temps, laughs> Euh, quand on les enlève, ça veut dire qu'on les ébavure. Donc, le mot « ébavurer » existe dans le dictionnaire français et ça veut dire finalement nettoyer les petites pinouches oui. qui ont tout le temps de la petite forme <rire> découpée. OK, so here's another one. Um, this is one that she's created. This one is gorgeous. Uh, it's a beautiful sailboat. It's all metallic. Love the background as well. And she's... She's gearing up to um, continue this one. So this one, not just is just la base, huh? Wait. Okay. So this is just the base that she glued onto uh, piece of card stock. the piece of cardstock, and she's laid out all her other little pieces. Wait. She uses okay. tweezers to pick up the little pieces, and then she'll add the scrap dots, and then she'll start mounting that on her card base. All right, so Sophia and Angel just left. It's close to midnight, so we are actually Sunday. And I just want to show you the progress of my 3D card. As you can see here, there's already one layer added. And I have some of these pieces that are uh, that I've already been layered as well. So this whole piece right here is going to get mounted right on top of there. But I need to wait until the lady here has dried. She's got three layers. It'll be tough for me to show you because um, you can kind of see it. There's three layers right there. And the little horsey as well has three different layers. And I've got my little girl that's been layered and she's going to go on top of there but I'm going to wait until I add this piece onto here first. Alright so this is the second part of my 3D card. Uh, it is now Sunday morning or afternoon and I'm just uh, gearing up to add this big piece right here over top this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl up a little bit my lady because this um, let me zoom in. Let me show you. This lady here, I curved a little bit her dress. So I want to have that uh, curve as well on the top layer. And I'm also going to curve the um, store because the storefront right here, that window is also curved. So I'm going to do the lady. And this has been curing overnight, so I know that the um, the silicone glue has had time to dry so I'm going to flip this over add my scrap dots and then we're going to carefully put this right on top of that this should be an adventure and like I said last night um, Angel is the expert I am by far I'm I am no expert whatsoever um, she's been doing it for years, but she's the one that taught me, so I'm I'm getting uh, my instructions from the best. started with the worst piece ever uh, just because it is tiny and it is very detailed. I'm just going to pick up a bit of 
with that silicone glue right here. Okay. And when I'm happy about where everything is, I'm going to start pressing down to flatten up, not too much, but to flatten some of the images. So I'm going to continue adding my other elements um, without the camera because I really need to bend down on my work and all you'll be able to see is my head. So I'm going to cut this off right here. I'm going to add all the other elements and I'll be right back with the finished product. Success! I did it! My first intricate 3D piece. This is an Anton Peak, which is an artist from the 18th or 19th century, I think. Uh, in the Netherlands and his um, his pieces are so so wonderful. I have a couple of these to make uh, but this was my first. You see that little basket right here? I folded it on that line here so it gives it that three-dimensional square um, shape and most of the other pieces are round shapes so as you can see here the storefront has a little curve here and um, I managed to put that little dog. I have a, I had a problem with the dog. The dog was quite problematic because um, I don't know if you can see the tiny, tiny legs. This is my, these are super fine tweezers. And look at that leg right there. I had to cut that. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I did it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm quite proud of it. And here's the final card. As you can see, I kept it very simple because the de the image is so detailed. But I quite enjoy that. This satisfies my type A personality. It's different than art journaling. <sighs> Please be patient with me, as I said. <laughs> I will try and edit as much as I can in the upcoming days. And it's also text time, so I gotta do that in between. So anyways, I'll get it all done. Thanks so much for being patient and thanks for watching and I will see, see you later.